Hello, makers. We're back at Form Next 2019, and next to me I have Rob Mitchell from Saralia. Um, and as you guys know, I'm an avid motorcyclist, and I couldn't miss up this opportunity to speak to Rob about the Saralia N60. N60, indeed, yes. So the Saralia N60 is a partly 3D printed bike. Partly, not fully. Not fully. No, we use a lot of carbon for the carbon monocoque, the carbon swing arm. Um, but we validate everything with carbon fiber, uh, with sorry, with 3D printing, um, and also the some of the uh, components on the bike, the production bike and the race bike, are 3D printed. Okay. So essentially, this is this is not just a prototype. It, it's actually a fully racing racing bike. This is a, a fully working prototype, which is the the core for our race bike. So, have you raced with it before? We've, we've actually raced, um, the R&D was done for four years on the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man TT, one of the most strenuous races in the world. Um, we developed the bike completely there, and then we've refined it for road use, and now we're going to go back to racing again. All right, so how did this all start? How long has it been in, well, how long has it been for it to become in the state as it is now? Um, we've been developing it for about 11 years. 11 years? Yeah, um, since the, uh, our owners took over the name brand, Saralia, which has a long history, we've been developing a full electric bike. Um, basically, the ultimate goal is racing, racing, racing. But we had a lot of interest in the race bike to become a road bike. So that's what we've been working on the last few years, to refine everything to be a flexible, uh, easy to use, uh, high-end road bike. Okay, uh, one question everyone will ask is, how fast can it go? Uh, basically, how fast do you want to go? Um, Very fast. <laughs> the road bike is limited to 240 kilometers an hour, and the race bike, um, as it was, was 320 with this motor, 320 kilometers an hour. 300, and how much torque are we talking about here? Yeah, that's the mind-blowing bit. Uh, we're talking about horsepower and top speed, but electric motorcycles uh, is all about torque. On the motor shaft, we have 40, 450 newton meters on the road bike, which equals 900 newton meters on the rear wheel. So imagine, like for those who don't understand, it's like standing still and all of a sudden a train hitting you from the back and just taking you forever out. Yeah, but then the race bike has double that. <laughs> okay, so how does how has 3D printing um, sort of facilitated the process uh, the process to uh, to sort of get to this team? Okay, we we partnered up with Polymaker very early on, and now we're officially a technical partner because they've we've been using their products since day one. Um, it's helped us from design to reality. We use it in sketching, uh, basic sketching the products, the designs. Uh, prototyping, this is a, a working prototype. We actually ride the bike with 3D printed bodywork. Um, we use 3D printing to produce uh, masters and molds for carbon fiber. Um, and we use 3D printing to produce components that we just couldn't produce any other way. Um, so you've mentioned that you use Polymaker products, so essentially you are using FDM technology, so normal 3D printers we're, here. We're using accessible FDM technology, yeah. Okay, so would you be able to tell us what types of FDM machines you use, what, which company, which brand? Um, we started out with Raise 3 d and we're lucky enough to have some support from Raise 3 d which is continuing throughout the Le Mans 24-hour campaign. Okay. Brilliant. So what kind of materials are you actually using for prototyping? Uh, PLA, PETG, uh, CoPA, um, some um, PC components now. So we're basically using what they, what they offer us and they're actually developing stuff with us uh, and testing the stuff out for us. If we've got a, a problem, we don't know which material we should use. We just go to Polymaker, the technical services will, engineers will figure out how they can best use it and optimize it for what we need. Um, how much does it weigh? Okay, this bike, as it is now, weighs 217 kilos. That's which, actually not that yeah, bad. It's about the same as a fully fueled 1000cc super bike, road bike. But when you consider 100 kilo is battery, if you took that out, that's quite a light rolling chassis. Yeah, it's absolutely very light, actually. Interesting. So, do you intend to keep this kind of racing bike theme or do you expect to expand into different like sort of I don't know a cruiser definitely not a scooter don't go there <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a cruiser or something more or less aggressive looking okay I'm not gonna let on too much because there's a lot in the pipeline but uh, the chassis we use the chassis we built the carbon monocoque from Formula One technology um, you basically bolt on the front end bolt on the motor bolt on the seat unit 
So you can fill in the gaps. We can convert that to any sort of motorcycle you want, basically. All right. And will we be seeing this machine racing at any point in the near future? Okay, this is uh, the exciting thing. We've, um, we'll, next April, we'll be doing some qualification for Le Mans 24 hour. Um, the next big test, we've done the TT for four years, now Le Mans. Um, we'll be doing qualification laps, demonstration laps, and a demonstration battery swap. Um, the aim, the goal, will be to race in the full Le Mans 24 hour in 2021. Wow, that's, that would be quite an achievement if, you know, once you get there, actually, right? Yeah, it's a big achievement. We've got a lot of uh, stuff we can do uh, to improve this. Um, make it even more competitive. Um, it's going to take a lot of a lot of know-how, a lot of money, um, a lot of work to get there. But we're going to do it. We'll be there. Do you have in mind a time frame of when do you think something like this will be available to the general public to purchase? Right. Um, we've got two road editions. This is the naked one. We've got a fully fared one. Um, we're doing batches of 20. We're doing a pretty exotic designs, uh, paintwork, bodywork. We have orders for the first 20. This one is, we've got orders for four. We've actually closed the order book right now because we're looking for investment to get to production. Um, that's gonna take a massive amount of uh, money, brutally. Um, in the meantime, we've been working with what we've got to get the race bike working. And this rolling around, this, is, this has been rolling around for 3,000 kilometers, gathering data, learning a lot about uh, the efficiency. Um, this, this is incredibly efficient motorcycle, fantastic to ride. No, and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I, I hope I get to see you at Le Mans, and if I, 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 I need to get a go at it. <laughs> Everybody wants to have a go at it. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I'm here now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Unfortunately, we haven't got the batteries in it, otherwise I'd be riding it up and down. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Rob, for your You're time. You're welcome, thank you. It was a pleasure, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very thank much, you. thank you.